Hello, I'm meteorologist Brandon Lawrence in the local five weather lab. It's that time of year where ice fishing and winter sports are in full swing during our typically coldest stretch of the year. Although iced over lakes and ponds can make for some good outdoor fun, ice can present a lot of dangers too, especially when it isn't very thick. Now water has a higher heat capacity than land, meaning it can hold more heat for a longer period of time. This is why the water takes so long to freeze up on the front end of winter, but also why ice is so slow to melt in the springtime. Bigger bodies of water like Iowa's Great Lakes take a long longer time to melt than smaller ponds and streams. Of course, they also take a longer time to freeze too. But once they're frozen, it's usually pretty solid. Essentially, smaller bodies of water are more susceptible to thinner ice, faster melting, and greater dangers associated with that ice. So before going out on the ice, it's a good idea to know its thickness. If the ice is really less than four inches thick, you need to stay off of it altogether. Any small crack can cause big issues as the ice gets thicker. It certainly can handle more and more weight up to the point where large trucks and SUVs can drive out over the frozen lake without causing any major problems. Here are a few steps you should take to keep yourself safe when out on the ice. Of course, be sure to have plenty of warm weather gear with you, including wearing layers of light, loose fitting clothing. You can also get the latest ice reports on the thickness and fishing reports from the Iowa DNR. Remember, in order to properly forecast the weather, we have to understand the science behind it. Check out more of our local five weather lab segments by visiting us on YouTube or on WeAreIowa.com.